Um, hey everyone, so I've got these uh, Dell switches and I needed to reset them obviously, so uh, I've just reset this one, I've written on it, you know, it's IP and uh, uh, it's number, so it's 5448, uh, 5548, uh, 2, so it's going to be the second in the stack. Um, then I'm going to, because they stack with uh, HDMI cables, which is pretty cool, never seen that before. So uh, I don't have to go out and buy like a special cable or anything, uh, nothing like that. Uh, you know, these are pretty cheap. Uh, you can find them at most stores. This one I just took out of my setup. Normally I have my laptop up here and my um, screen there. And then I just have some cheap uh, adapter I got off Amazon uh, to go from mini display port to HDMI. Uh, but my laptop's down here so we can do this so basically um, also these turn off when they're see this is actually on but uh, they turn off when uh, not being used so what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the console cable uh, just normal Cisco rollover cable um, the thing I like about the Dells is they use a lot of the Cisco command line um, so and but they also have a nice web interface um, well better than that three come I've had experience with. Um, so yeah, this is actually just turned on the fans. It does that kind of randomly. Um, uh, well, I think on a timer or something, or when it's under load. Uh, not that it's under any load, not plugged in at all. But uh, so yeah, I'm going to grab along a longer power cable because this one doesn't reach, and uh, get back to you. Um, so we got the power cable, um, you've got to be kind of ready at the console because you plug it in. Press the second one on, maybe you could hear the fans rev up. And then you got to press enter as it goes to the auto boost. And then we've got a race flash file. Um, yes. And then we go config, enter, enter. And then you can hit escape and it will boot and it will erase the, f it's erase the flash file. Um, and now it will come up with their quick start wizard, which is uh, really easy to get started. You basically tell it, it gives you some defaults. I stuck with all the defaults. Um, uh, so, yeah, see, this is unit number one, the other one sees unit number two there. That doesn't change when you erase it, so make because uh, it's uh, like on a different, it's not in that config file. So make sure you uh, change that if you're deploying it um, into a stack. It should be one if it's by itself, or in a stack, you know, uh, you obviously know which one it is. So this is just going to boot up. Um, see, so uh, you'd like to run the setup wizard. Yes. Oh, PC just crashed. Damn, uh, I'll get back to you. Sometimes it does it with this uh, cheap Chinese kind of adapter. Um, basically, I'll have to rerun the setup wizard. But, uh, yeah. So, um, we're going to try resetting that top switch again. Um, community crash is shown in the last clip. clip. Um, so, we've got to give it power, obviously. Um, hit that, and then we can go, uh, three, enter, um, escape. And, uh, this will boot up. Um, so we're gonna try again last time my computer crashed, but so you get the switch here Just Plug in the power Now uh, it's gonna boot up. This is from the other switch uh, And then we go erase flash file. Yes Con fig And then I'll enter you can go exit 
in this is erase the config file um, and, and so now it will boot up and we'll get the uh, wizard uh, which we just basically go through and answer all the questions so yeah I'll just wait for this to boot up and I'll get back to you um, so the wizards just launched we go yes would you like to set up that um, I'm just going to do basically all the defaults so down Um, oh yeah, to do backspaces you have to go back and it works kind of like the delete key. It's kind of weird. Um. Um, zero dot. So with these crashes, um, I'm probably going to end the video here, but uh, so basically yeah, you go through that, and uh, after that you should be able to log into the web interface with the IP you set, so this one's going to be 192.168.1.5, and I've labelled this one to be .6, um, and this is going to be the master, and this is going to be the slave, because uh, that's how they work, um, but this is going to be the submaster. so basically if this one goes down, this one takes over, and if you have more in the stack, they'd just be slaves, and you know, so you have redundancy if one of these goes down. Um, so yeah, that's um, it's annoying how my computer keeps crashing, but what can you do? Um, it didn't on the other one, so I'll have to figure that out, and I'll do it. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully more videos coming out in the next couple of days. Um, so yeah, so uh, naturally, the first time after I stop the video, it happens. Um, so it's basically the easy setup wizard. It's like, do you want to uh, do it? And it's simple network management profile uh, protocol, and then it's like configure that, and then it's like privileges like admin and your password, and then it's uh, the IP of it, and Boom, you're done. It's really easy. So uh, this should be now configurable. Um, and seeing as that's one, I can probably put these into a stack now. Um, and that should work. Um, and the command line's very similar to Cisco. Um, but they also have a nice web interface. So yeah, I might do a couple of videos in configuring the VLANs. Um, with these, so that's where I'm currently at. So, uh, oh, yeah, thanks for watching uh, again. Um, and hope you, uh, you know, look out for more coming videos.